Welcome back to Battle of the Blades. Now that Jerry has reminded us, gravity never takes a break. All the performers just skate tonight. There's no elimination this evening. The first one will happen a week from tonight. We'll have seven performances. The skate off at 8 o'clock local, 8.30 in Newfoundland. All right, Vanessa James and Brian McGratton. Got it right on the chin from McGratton. That's like a sledgehammer hitting you. For 14 years, Brian McGratton was known as one of the most menacing tough guys in the NHL. Growing up as a kid, you know, I never fought, but I was always, you know, one of the kids that scored, and that's what we all want to be when we get to the NHL. For me, I had to change my role to survive. I can't score at this level, so I started fighting. When I'm getting ready for a fight or if I'm squaring off against a the guy, there's 20,000 people in there, I don't hear anything. It's clear, it's calm. But after, when it's done and the tunes are pumping and the fans are going crazy, I loved it. And that's what drove me. But for Brian, the real fight was off the ice. I'm a guy that struggled with mental health issues. I struggled with addiction and I suffered with depression, anxiety. I was drinking myself to death. I was broken as a person inside. I'm a guy at the pinnacle of my career. I said, I don't care if I ever play hockey again. I have to get myself sorted here. After hitting rock bottom in 2008, Brian voluntarily entered the league's substance abuse program. Going through that process began the, the path for me to find myself, and I've been sober for close to 11 years. These days, Brian is working with the Calgary Flames, using his past to help others with their future. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm a guy that's walked the walk. I just want to be a voice for people, not just to be the best players they can be when they come to the rink, but be the best people they can be away from the rink and have a healthy life. You want to feel like my arm right against your chest so you can feel that tension toward together. If not, then it's like, <laughs> whoa, you know what I mean? Born a twin in Canada, with roots in Bermuda, the US, Great Britain, and France, Vanessa James is at home on the ice wherever she goes. I have to say I'm a child of the world. My sister is the one that really decided that she wanted to do figure skating. We always did everything together. Growing up, my parents always said, we don't see a lot of color on the ice. They won't give you the benefit of the doubt. You always have to be the best. After a solo start, Vanessa made the leap to pairs in 2007, and that's where she soared. I wasn't afraid of anything. I was instinctively drawn to jumps and skating fast and doing more turns. With bronze medals at Europeans and Worlds, six French national titles, and a gold at the 2019 Europeans, Vanessa is a champion role model. I hope that I can inspire other minorities to, to step up. Strive for what you want and know that you're capable of it. Up, arm back, good. I'll be skating for ARCS, Alberta Animal Rescue Service. Having the opportunity to work with them while I was playing for the Flames, they were our charity of choice. They are a fantastic organization. These people are truly saints. My charity is Alzheimer's Society of Canada. It's dear to me because my grandmother passed away due to this disease. To deal with a family or a family member or a loved one that forgets who they are, forgets who you are. And it's scary, it's scary for them, it's scary for their, their loved ones. And it's hard, you know, it's hard.
Vanessa James and Brian McGratton. Brian McGratton from Hamilton, Ontario. Little boy Gabe's in the crowd. Michelle's in the crowd. Mom Kathy is in the crowd. In fact, Brian, you were saying all those years in the National Hockey League, you got more fans. No, nobody has ever, no, this many people has never come to watch and play one hockey game. <laughs> ever. You know, Kathy, she wouldn't come and watch, right? Most of the time you played here growing up? She was too scared. <laughs> but I always won, so it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She didn't want you to fight. You might get hurt. This is where you're going to get hurt. <laughs> Colby. Well, they're not going to be scared anymore. Look, Brian, the fighting. Well, they got to see you skating. And that's the one thing I noticed, buddy. Those strides. Pap, 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 pap. The stroking, as we call it in figure skating. <laughs> what a presence you guys were as a, as a pair. What a presence. Tessa and Scott. Incredible ice coverage. Beautiful musicality. And I'm amazed by how comfortable you look in those lifts. Just so in sync. Really, really nice. Yeah, I would say that you had such command in your beginning movements, and you really kind of drew us into the storyline, and we were attached. So good for you, especially on your first night out in your home city. Go ahead, Tim. Everyone at home doesn't know that the skaters have to listen to those packs, that information about their stories, and then they have to stand there and wait for the music to start and then skate. And I don't know if I'm getting middle-aged or past it, <laughs> but you took me over the edge. Uh, I got emotional. Thank you. Truly was inspirational. The Alzheimer's Society of Canada, obviously, Vanessa, you've chosen that, and Animal Rescue in Alberta. Brian, you've chosen that. Uh, just tremendous. Let's get right to the scores. Colby Armstrong. Bigger, 9.4. Whoa, 9.4. Scott. 9.3. 9.3. Kurt. 9.2. 9.2. You like that, Colby Armstrong. <laughs> cbc.ca slash battle of the blades to keep these two out of the skate off next thursday night so we're down to the last skate of the night coming up and we've kind of saved the best for last because she's one of the greatest of all time ekaterina gordieva is teaming up right now with bruno gervais and they'll hit the ice on battle of the blades right after this well done.